Welcome back. Now that you know the basics of cinematic film lighting, I'm going to show you how to shape that light and acoustically treat your space at the same time. Now, it's going to take a little MacGyvering, as I like to call it, but it will save you a ton of time and a ton of money. Now, when I say shaping light, I mean using different materials to reflect, absorb, direct, or diffuse the light. This will give each shot a unique look and feel. And when I say acoustically treat, I mean having materials in place to cut down on vocal reflections, or reverb. Simply doing these two things will dramatically increase your production value. Now, the moment you've been waiting for. The materials you're going to need are moving blankets and PVC pipe. I know, not what you were expecting. These just aren't your ordinary moving blankets. These are heavy-duty, dual-colored blankets. They are black on one side and white on the other. The black side can be used to absorb the light, to cut down or even eliminate light reflections. And the white side can be used to reflect or bounce light to increase light reflections. Traditionally, the crew will have a black flag on a C-stand in order to cut down or minimize reflections. This is usually done for dramatic lighting. They will do the same to bounce or reflect light with a white cloth or a bounce card. This is best for high key lighting, mostly lighthearted comedy. I like my method because it's less to set up and it's less money. You can also use these to protect your gear in transport. After all, that is what they're made for. In order to do this, you're gonna need 10 foot PVC pipes. Don't worry, these are gonna be cut to size. After these are cut, they're gonna be constructed to form a kind of temporary wall. I plan to do a hands-on video when things finally go back to normal, whenever that may be. I unfortunately don't have the space at the moment, and I highly doubt you're going to run out to Home Depot today or tomorrow just to get PVC to make a temp wall. However, I'm going to leave a diagram of the setup and a material list in the description. When we start shooting our next short film, which is hopefully soon, I will show you how this is applied on set and have some before and after test footage. When set up right, this will kill two birds with one stone. This will work, but you have to keep your expectations in check. This will not automatically make your lighting look amazing. This will not automatically make your actors sound phenomenal. You have to know what you're doing on top of doing this. Try different setups, multiple setups. Every location will require different levels of treatment. If you don't wish to go this route, you can always go old school. You can just pick up a 5-in-1 reflector that acts as a bounce card or a flag. You're just going to need a stand or someone to hold it outside a frame. The last thing I want to talk about is the use of barn doors or black cinefoil. Either of these can shape the light so it only hits what you want it to. I feel that barn doors are best used on backlights or a hair light. However, these don't come with every light and sometimes they can get expensive. That's where cinefoil comes into play. This is cheaper and offers much more versatility in shaping your light. Like household aluminum foil, you can pretty much bend or mold this any way you want. Just have fun with it. You may even achieve a look that you didn't even know you wanted. And that is my little lighting slash acoustic hack. This will not work in every scenario, but it will in some. The good thing is that these items aren't really that expensive. The best advice I can give to you is to just get creative. Let me know if you decide to try this. And if you do, let me know how it works for you down in the comments. And that's the video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell to get notified every time a new video comes out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Yeah, I wanna run off and fly.